Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. I got some Starbucks. My hair's flat again. I'm wearing my black cat fan club shirt. I got lots of comments today. Um, we're going to do an old fashioned haul. I had to run a bunch of errands this morning. I'm on the hunt for some things to get ready for summer. So I thought I would share. So first we'll do Trader Joe's because I got to put some stuff away. I got some frozen turkey burgers. These are zero carbohydrates. It's just turkey, salt, and a little bit of rosemary. So they're very plain. You can season them up however you like. A four pack, I think it was like $3.99 or something. $4.99 maybe. I'm gonna put these in the freezer. And those are for lunches, to make a lunch. Oh, I got a new bag. I have a bag problem. But I really prefer these fabric bags to the um, plastic bags when I go to like the grocery store and stuff and these pack up so much easier. So I grabbed one more. So I have the pickle bag and I have this one. I think they have a yellow one. I don't know. I need to clean out my bag situation. Um, I found this, which is spaghetti squash that's been dehydrated into these little nests. Um, I'm looking for easy things. I might go camping this summer and this would be something I could bring and I just have to add water and I can make a dinner super easy. It's, um, you just boil it. Uh, you, you boil it for like five minutes and it rehydrates. We'll see how it goes. It's a little expensive, but, um, I didn't have to do the work. And I'm only, I just want to try it for convenience purposes because I'm thinking I can make my own like um, ramen or cup noodle. Uh, for lunches this week, I grabbed these. I love these. These are cheese bites. Oh, these aren't the ones. Well, I, I like these too. These are just the plain cheese bites. They were out of the ones with the truffle oil in them. But these are good too. When I just grab them, I put them in a little zip bag to go with my lunches. Um, I picked up some chopped mushrooms, Swiss cheese. Oh, I grabbed this for my friend Caroline in Canada. She can't get this. And they only had a few boxes left for the year and she likes it. So I grabbed her another box. I'll take that with me when I go. I love that I can buy one onion. I mean, I know any grocery store you can, but I bought one onion and this is biodegradable. I forgot my mesh bag. And then I get these if I'm gonna make sandwiches. They're cauliflower slims. Each of these will make two sandwiches and total carbs is three. So these are good for me for packing my lunch right? Because that's how I roll. So let's put the groceries away. The one thing about these, um, the cauliflower round, the rounds I don't love is sometimes they get very moist. And by that, I mean really watery. All right. Let me get the tag off of this though. So, like I said, I've been, I was out on some errands. It's going to be bicycle time soon. So I, this is why I love these. I can just throw a bunch of them in this bag and they smush up in my car. Um, it's gonna be, sorry, it's gonna be bicycle riding time soon. So I need to get some snacks for that. Oh, I grabbed these at Trader Joe's to try and they're good. They are spicy tempura seaweed. So seaweed that they have slapped a little tempura and seasoning on, mm, it's good. There's a lovely, like, little heat to it and a nice crunch. Not 100% keto, but enough for me if I just have a little bit. Um, okay. So, I went to Marshall's looking for whatever Marshall's told me I needed, but... In my mind, I was going to Whole Foods to look for these. These are Miracle Noodles. Um, and I feel like this is, yeah, this is a two-serving container. But these are Miracle Noodles. They're made with con Konjak, K-O-N-J-A-K. 
flower, I think. Yeah, no, K-O-N-J-A-C flower. They're very keto friendly. And now they've made, um, it's like pho. It's all seasoned already for me. So all my seasonings are on the noodles. I just take them out of here, throw the whole package, I believe. Uh, let's see, mix the noodles and sauce in the frying pan, heat for five minutes. So there's probably a couple packets in here. So I grabbed two to try. Um, yeah, they're keto friendly. I saw these advertised and that Whole Foods had them, but Marshall's had them and they were $3.99. So I grabbed two to try. Um, what I will do is add like a hard boiled egg or some chicken or something just to up the protein because this, it doesn't have carbs, but it really doesn't have protein either. But I would add protein to these, but that's a quick dinner for me. So that's exciting at the Marshalls. Um, so I went to this plaza. It's um, it at Easton Town Center here in Columbus. They have, it's an old mountain, old, like a Dick's, but it began with an M. I can't remember what it was called. Anyway, it was a huge outdoors store. And they moved that store. So what happened is Marshalls came and took... Marshall's upstairs, Home Goods downstairs, and then next door is their Sierra Trading Company. And the Sierra Trading Company is like a Dick's or an outdoor store. They have all kinds of camping or an REI, but more affordable. I, because I believe they get like markdown stuff. And what I was looking for is a shirt like this. Now, they don't have any plus size in store that I could find at my store, but this 2X fit me. So, it's a an outdoor shirt, obviously, but it is the Sherpa brand, and it is SPF 50, which is what I need for sun protection, and it has silver-free odor control. So it's a nice outdoor shirt. When I ride my bike in the mornings and it's cold, I can wear this and I still won't get sunburned. It's very lightweight. It has a hood. So if I'm out and I need to protect myself from the sun because we know I can't be getting sunburned. Um, and I liked the color. I only found one other in my size and it was a 2X. I mean, it was a 2X. Yes, that's my size, but it was black. And I'm like, well, I don't want black for summer. But I liked this color a lot and I like that it won't stink up especially for like travel and stuff this would be a nice layer that I don't have to worry about it getting stinky and if I go hiking or something like that I have a nice layer so I was looking for that I paid $24 for it compared to 75 and I know they're expensive because I've seen them okay I've been on the hunt for um, conditioner and shampoo bars to try so I got this brand. I did not like the Dollar Tree brand. We're going to throw that out there right now. It dried my hair out something terrible. So this is the conditioner. Mm, it's citrus scent. And the shampoo is as well. But it doesn't really tell me, does it? What's in it? Uh, cocoa butter coconut oil, glycerin, jojoba oil. So there's some good oils in it. Um, and the same with the soaps. So I just want to try their package free, which is what I like, but also good for travel. Ooh, this, and I love that they're two different colors. Mm, this is also citrus, but it's like colored green. So I'll know in the shower which one is shampoo and which one is conditioner. So we're going to try it. I mean, they were only $5.99. These things online were like $20. And it says compare that. So what the store is, is the outdoor store, it's Sierra Outdoor Store. They get closeouts and stuff, just like Marshalls and TJ Maxx. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to get good stuff. So I grabbed these, which is the Keto Granola Bar Peanut Butter, Chewy and Delicious. I need these for when I'm cycling. I need to have a snack with me, especially for my blood sugars. But I can tell you, I paid $4.99 for this. I get these at Whole Foods for $7.99 for the same package, and you get four bars. 
they're expensive. I know that, but I need them for my cycling so they don't spike my blood sugar. So I grabbed one of those. And then they had these bars, and I've not had this brand before. It is Genius Gourmet Keto Bar. Also, you get four bars. This one was $6.99. And yeah, I mean, it, they're just bars for me to have when I ride my bicycle. So I grabbed those, which was exciting, right? Because I was going to Whole Foods for these. I know, I didn't even have to go to Whole Foods. The two things I want, I found in two stores. And then I, I want to try Keto Creamer, not because it's keto, but because it's dry. And if I travel, I'm looking for the Best Buy uh, May, so I need to use this up. But um, I wanted to try it. It was only $4.99. I can buy it online, but if I don't like it, I'm not going to get it. So I thought, well, it's the time to try for my coffee. I need creamer. And when I travel, it would be great to have a powdered creamer that I like. I do not like Cremora. I don't like um, the powders that they sell in the store. I will drink them, but I don't love them. And I would like to find something. And this is unsweetened and it's relatively low in carbs. It says one scoop. I hope there's a scoop in here. I don't feel a scoop. So how do I know what a scoop is? Six grams is a scoop. All right, well, so I grabbed that at the Sierra Outdoor Store. So that's exciting. I need to keep my receipt for that because I, didn't, I tried on a different brand, same size, but I didn't want to try that one on. And then, oh, at Marshall's, nope. Then I went downstairs to Home Goods and I found my Wisps. These are great little crackers or cheese for lunches. Um, it's cheddar and Parmesan, which I like both of those. And I'll show you what size the package is. Um, I get these at Costco and they are not $6.99. And you get the same size bag. So they're just a little bag, just a little snack size, which I love to take to work. And for me, portioning is uh, ideal to buy things that are pre-portioned. Because if I sit down with a huge bag of something, I'm just going to eat it all. And we shouldn't do that. And then the last thing I got, I don't know if this is a good deal or not. It is, well, it was on clearance for $4.50. Regularly, $3? Like what? Does that sound right? No. Maybe it was like $5.99. Yeah, probably $5.99. It is, oh, there's my receipt, an adjustable caddy. So you have these little dividers that you put in it. It's for my drink mixes, for my drink station. If you have been on the internet or anywhere and seen the drink ladies who are all over water different waters and stuff i mean i've been drinking these for my forever the you know the flavored waters but TikTok girlies have found them i'm just putting the dividers in so now they're getting hard to find my water not the powdered waters those are pretty easy to find but the syrups there we go but i can well that wasn't kind i do um, now I can divide them into six so they stand up and then I can just grab like the flavors that I want. Is it ridiculous? Yes. Do I love it? Yes. Also, yes. So this was everything I picked up today so far. We need a thumbnail so I should probably close my trash can. So I'm gonna put all my waters, packets, I'll show you. Please hold. I happen to have a bunch over here that I opened up, that I haven't put away yet. So they, you know, these little boxes, which I really wish, well they do. I need to go to like um, Big Lots, 
all big lots and get the bigger boxes, less waste. But look, they fit just in here and then I will know what color is what flavor and then I can just grab a packet and I will fill this up for the summer. And this is what helps me drink water. I'm not gonna lie. So for 450, I have this little caddy that will, and so what I liked about the dividers is if I don't have it completely full, they won't like all the way down sideways. You know, I can just put, and I don't, I don't need to separate them by flavor necessarily. Um, I just want them to stand up. So that's why this was perfection. All right, guys, that's everything. I need to put everything away and figure out what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. Oh, hair. So I hope you enjoy and I'll talk with you later. Bye.